All right, so in this series of tutorials, we'll be looking at the Flask framework for Python, which is a micro development tool used for building web pages and applications. It's flexible enough to meet the needs of your application, no matter the size, because it's super light to begin with, and it's fairly easy to add components as your app grows. So before we begin, you need to have Python and Flask installed, and you should have a virtual environment set up. And for more info on this, see the web tutorial found in the link in this video's description. So let me just show you real quickly how to install Flask. Pull this over. Pip install Flask. I've already got it installed, so it's not going to reinstall it. I could do an upgrade. I'm pretty sure that I've already got the latest upgrade, which I do. All right, so in this first video, we'll be building the basic development structure and developing a static website styled with the Twitter bootstrap theme. For those like myself who you are used to higher level frameworks like Django or Web2Py, the, the hard part was setting up the project structure. For me, I didn't understand where to put the templates and views and it took me a bit to figure out exactly how to route links and you'll see what I mean in a second. So you want to start by creating the basic project structure. That entails this routes.py file which is used in the back end to control communication between the browser, database, and templates in order to render HTML back to the user. And in the front end, we have the layouts and views, which will go in the templates directory, and the styles, such as CSS, images, fonts, and JavaScripts, will go in the static directory. All right, so let's get to some code. I'm actually going to do quite a bit of copying and pasting here, just to save a little bit of time. So first we want to go ahead and create the basic HTML template that's used for all pages. So I'm going to go ahead and use Notepad++. So we just have a basic HTML site here, you got the doc type. And then basically inheritance works like includes. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Actually, this does not go in the routes file. This is for the template.html file. And like I was saying, the this block content and block that's used for inheritance. And you will see what I mean in just a second. So let me go ahead and create a new page here. And this is going to be for the main HTML page. Let's do some tabbing here. Make it look a little bit cleaner. Save that as home.html. You can see here we have the block content and the end block. So basically everything between there is falling right here. You can see that it does work very similar to includes. Let's, let's uh, load up one more page. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste from here. So this is going to be the welcome page that in there. Just go ahead and save that as welcome.html. Okay, so now for the, the routes file. That's going to tie all these files back together. So we're going to do from flask import flask render templates. So now we're going to do the uh, main URL mapping. So at app.route, this is the main URL here. So anytime you hit the main URL, that's going to get routed in this function there. Anytime you hit that, it's going to hit this template home.html. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this. 
change this to welcome function name welcome so anytime you hit forward slash welcome it's going to go to the welcome page Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the server. So then command prompt, you just want to go ahead and cd to the flash directory and then run the routes.py file. Now we want to navigate to localhost and it is port 5000. Okay, so here's the main home page. And then if we click the link here, that takes us to the welcome page. Cool. All right, so now let's get the bootstrap framework going to make this a little nicer looking. So if you wanna to go to this URL, and again, this URL is gonna be located in the web tutorial that you can find in the description section. And this is just a basic bootstrap framework for Flask. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the zip file. Go ahead and open that up. And what you're going to want to do is pull out the bootstrap.css. I've actually already done that. And then you want to go ahead and drop it in here, bootstrap.css. So next we want to go ahead and update the template files to pull in the new styles. So let me go ahead and uh, open back up the template.html. And we're going to add in stuff here. Here's the style sheet. And then here is some CSS from Bootstrap. This is some navigation at the very top. Let me go ahead and save that. And then as far as the home.html, I'm going to go ahead and say home. Go ahead and paste this. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so now if I go ahead and refresh the page, looks a little bit nicer. And you can see the links here at the top. See, welcome, go back home. And that's just for like another link there. Okay, so now we have a little better looking site created quickly and efficiently. And we used Flask and the styles are from Twitter Bootstrap. Granted, I did that uh, pretty quick and dirty. You can definitely edit the styles quite a bit more. So be sure to check out the full tutorial at realpythonforthewebcom for more details and explanations. And in the next tutorials, we'll be adding some dynamic content. All right, well, thanks for watching.